Hey guys, my name's Anna. I'm Lauren. And today we're gonna be filming a get ready with me. If anybody cares or is watching. And we're no makeup gurus, so don't come for us. <laughs> I've already put my foundation on and powder and my eyebrows off camera because a bitch be ugly. So I'm starting off and I'm doing my contour. <laughs> I'm starting off with my foundation. <laughs> I'm already primed. I'm really slow doing my makeup, so I thought this would be faster if I already did it off camera. I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Palette. It's my ride or die palette. We've already filmed this video once. And it was bad, so we're doing it again. <laughs> it wasn't bad, but we could have done better. Our content was the better in the other one. Yeah. I'm 18 years old and I'm from Florence, Alabama. Yee yee. <laughs> um, I feel like Alabama just isn't cutting it for me and I'm going to community college right now. And I just want to move somewhere that has more opportunities for me, really. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm 19. And I also live in Florence, Alabama. It's just very boring here. And we have nothing to do ever. So we just thought like, might as well start <laughs> a YouTube channel. It's something that we always wanted to do, but never had like the guts to do it, I guess. But now that we're out of high school, it's just, it doesn't matter. like. We're gonna do what we want to do, you know? It doesn't matter what people say, so. Me and Lauren have big city dreams. We <laughs> Small like to party. Town girls with big city yeah. dreams. Um, this is, we started a YouTube channel for fun and it's not gonna be just makeup. This is probably not my shade. I really don't know, I couldn't tell them. But we were just bored. And so yeah. we were like, why not film a get ready with me? Because oh, we both like makeup. Yeah. Even though we may not be the best at it. It's good enough for what what I have to do on the day. Like, yeah. Know. Fits my face, so. Or I think it does, but we all have different opinions. I like to, um, I like to carve out my contour once I do it. Just get a clean on. And I'm so pale, it's embarrassing. My eyebrows may be bad, but they've come a long way, definitely. Lauren, tell them about my eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have this friend. <laughs> She's one of our best friends, and I won't say her name, but <laughs> Anna has, like she said, her eyebrows have, like, came a long way, and when we were... What grade were we in? 10th grade? 9th grade or 10th grade? Um, it doesn't really matter, but she told Anna her eyebrows look like um, a dust buster. A dust buster. You know, the vacuums that people used to use, the hand vacuums, the brown ones. Yeah. <laughs> no. They're, no, they're not I good. I don't like to laugh. I'm not laughing at you. <laughs> and then after the dust buster eyebrows, I moved on to the unibrow. <laughs> You literally used to have just one little slit in between them. How did you feel at that stage in your life? Um, I was depressed. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I never thought they looked bad. Well, I think Brent, or, yeah, I think Brent, I just like to roast you. <laughs> yeah, Brent, my friend, just liked to roast me, I guess, but. In a, in a loving way. They were super close together, and they're not good now by any means, but they have come a long way, so. They're sisters, not twins. I'm going in with the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm gonna use some color because I don't wanna use brows and be boring. <laughs> I'm going in with this blue shade, turquoise, I guess, first. I'm just gonna put that color in my crease. So Lauren, what is your favorite part of your makeup routine? Uh, I like doing, I like doing crimson. Cause I just like go from like looking flat to like having some color. 
I've tried cream contour once in my life and it, it was awful. <laughs> like I don't want to do it again because I can't do it. I like it with this brush. This is the ColourPop brush. It's um, I didn't use it for my foundation but I started using that other brush and it's really, it's great. Oh, who are some of the YouTubers that you watch the most? <laughs> Makeup wise, I like Jaclyn Hill, I like Jeffree Star, Jackie Anna. I like, uh, well, I don't watch a lot of makeup YouTubers, cause like, that's like all I watch. But I watch, makeup wise, I watch uh, James Charles and Jeffree Star. It's about the only ones. I don't, not really into makeup videos, but. Oh, and um, Nikki Tutorials. Oh yeah, I like Nikki Tutorials. I thought, and I like. Oh, I, I have a lot more now that you said that. <laughs> I like um, Nicole Concilio, I Raw Beauty Christie. She's my favorite. I think she's not as fun. She's not doesn't have as many followers, but she's like so funny, and she's probably my favorite one. We are hopefully might be going to Coachella. Yeah. I mean, as of right now, we are. But hopefully, like nothing comes up to like ruin it. I just think Coachella would be a fun experience, and you know, girls in Alabama, we don't have a lot of cute guys, if you know what I mean. I mean, I'm sure there's some out there, but right now we ain't finding them. <laughs> but I feel like Coachella would be a fun experience. I mean, we get to dress up cool. I mean, I think it'll be really fun. I agree. And we also have a chance of meeting some YouTubers. I'm honestly going to um, Coachella in hopes of seeing the Dolan twins. Just seeing them, like. We don't I, have to talk to them. We I just want to see. If them. I just saw them, I would probably pass out. <laughs> I don't know what I would do. My eyes would melt out of my eye sockets, <laughs> probably because they're so hot. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty hot. I don't use a loose powder anymore. I've been using a pressed powder instead because my skin is pretty dry. It's been better lately so I can use a little more but I just like a like a this is the uh, Maybelline Super Stay. Now I'm going in with this purplish blue color in the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm putting that on my lid. I usually don't wear dark colors on my lid because I can they never like stay they're always like grainy and like I can't get them to pack on there nicely but we're just gonna do it. I honestly do my makeup pretty fast. Yeah that's why I started. I think it's because I like know like exactly what I'm like gonna do. So I just pick up that I mean I don't have to like worry. I like wonder. I like blush too. I think it transforms the face. It just like Highlight. And I know this is probably not gonna look good. I'm just taking a chance. I always, when I do my makeup to go like out, I always wear like browns and blacks. I'm never experimenting with colors. Yeah, I've just like gained a recent obsession for the Dolan Twins. That's what my life has consisted of for the past two weeks, I think. She's been watching every single video. Yeah. Have. That's all I do. If they ever want to hit me up, my DMs. Or... I DM them. <laughs> Exposing yourself. <laughs> They're never going to say it's a bit loud, but I DM them. As you can guess, they didn't say it. <laughs> I don't DM people. Laura but never it, DMs people. But it was just like, it just had to be done. So, I guess I'll do some eyeshadow now. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I might use the Bretman Rock. This is like dirty. This is the Bretman Rock Wet Set. And it's a collection with ColourPop. And it kinda like matches my shirt, you know? Like, I'm just gonna take some airspun powder and put that where the fallout was. 
underneath that arm. Hopefully it'll cover some of it up. <laughs> Just put some transitions, transition shades. Anna, what is your least favorite part of your makeup routine? Eyebrows. I hate doing my eyebrows. They're so uneven and it makes me so mad. I know that it's rare for people to have perfectly symmetrical eyebrows, but I try my best and they're never ever the same, which it's just one of my pet peeves. I don't know. Then I just gotta live with it. Now I'm going back in with the blue shade up here and I'm gonna put that underneath my eyes. Now I'm going into the Mini MUA Boss of Drag. I'm just gonna use some of the browns. I'm just gonna blend it in again with my powder brush. Now I'm moving on to highlighter and I'm using the Fenty Beauty highlighter in Kill Kilowatt Full. <laughs> Basically looks like this. It's been used a couple times, I will say. <laughs> I'm using the Morphe 510 brush <coughs> as my highlighter brush. I'm taking a smaller brush. I don't know where I got this. Um, oh, it's an e.l.f. brush. It says defining eye brush, defining eye brush. And <clears throat> I'm gonna use this to highlight my inner corners and my brow bone. I'm gonna be starting on the mascara and I'm using the Roller Lash by Benefit. So Anna, tell us a funny story or something funny that happened to you. So recently, me, Lauren, and four other of our friends went to a 21 Savage concert. Yeah. It was a good concert, like he was amazing. But the opening act, I mean, the mosh pit was crazy. Like, yeah, everybody was so close together. You were, like, breathing in other people's breath. And, like, you couldn't raise your, like, hands up to check your phone or anything. Like, that's how compact it was. During the concert, some people would, like, jump up to the music in the mosh pit. Like, everybody would. What am I saying? <laughs> everybody would jump up to the music. And sometimes the people in the back of the mosh pit would push upwards toward the front trying to get front row and the people in the front when the back did that the people in the front would push backwards trying to get them away well when they did that the whole mosh pit's going like that literally you're on your heels or you're on your tiptoes going forward yeah and <laughs> me and two other of my friends were trying to get to the front so we're like when everybody jumps up we're just gonna squeeze our way in between everybody and get to the front row well <laughs> We did that and we were so close to the stage like so close but then one of my friends is like i'm about to pass out i'm about to pass out and i was like now is not the time or place to do it like not the time or place because if she passed out she would go straight down and like she would get lost under the feet of everybody so i was like just hold it out just hold it out or whatever and so we're getting up to the front and all of a sudden a wave starts hitting like people are pushing forwards and backwards and Haley's already breathing hard my other friend Haley her name's Haley and hey Haley <laughs> hey Haley <laughs> anyway um all of a sudden she just goes down and everybody the people pushing back fall on top of us and we're on the bottom of a huge dog pile 
like crushing our bones and i'm looking over there and Haley's like passed out until my step in and stomping on her freaking face <laughs> and um it's not funny but we've all laughed about it now now that she's well i laughed about it when she told me in the car but now that she's okay it's a funny story my leg was getting crushed and i had on these like 12 dollars shoes from target <laughs> they were happy and <laughs> lovely <laughs> so i was like i gotta get to Haley. r.i.p i have this motherly instinct that comes out when it comes to my friends being in danger it don't matter what we're doing and i was like i just gotta get to Haley. i gotta get to Haley. she's gonna die right from me i was like this is it so my foot is like is concreted under that dog pile i pulled my foot as hard as i could out of that dog pile and somehow some miracle i got it out and I ran over there to Haley and I picked her up like a freaking army crawl. Like I was army crawling her out of there. And uh, when we're walking out of the mosh pit, people were yelling. They're like, hey, get them out of here. Get them out of here. And like stuff like that. I'm like, shut the hell up. Like she literally about died. <laughs> and I, you're over here making fun of us. But long story short, I lost my shoe. We looked like a wreck. And I, we went to the bathroom and we go back out to the mosh pit area and I just see my shoe floating around out there, throwing around like a freaking beach ball. And I was like, Ugh. So I'm gonna be using a couple lip products. I'm gonna be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Kristen lip gloss first. Then I'm going to use the ColourPop and Bretman Rock um, lip gloss. And then I'm going to be using also the ColourPop and Bretman Rock lip gloss. I got the whole collection. Because I like him. <laughs> Bretman Rock is freaking hilarious. Hilarious. Oh, they're still okay. Please ignore the, um, the mascara that's been in my hair. It's not coming out. So, guys, this is the final look. Nothing too fancy, but we did the best we could. I just wanted to match my shirt. I just wanted to experiment with colors more than brown and blacks and grays. Yeah. But yeah, we hope you enjoyed, and we will be posting a lot more videos. Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching. The How do I get this follow up? Oh, the brush. Will it not smear? No. And it kind of like matches my shirt, you know? Like, this color. I was like looking in the mirror. That was stupid. I'm using the Morphe M510. Or is it 510? 510. <laughs> we need a dog. A what? We need a talk. I thought you said we need a dog. Uh -uh. I was like, why? <laughs>